Today we're going to change the regulator rectifier on your GUA 650cc scooter and in this video I will show you how. Well hello and welcome, today we are going to change the regulator rectifier on your GY 650cc scooter. This regulator rectifier is uh, a little device that rectify the power that your scooter producing to DC because your scooter is producing AC, AC is alternating current this little device will switch that current to DC to recharge your battery now also this one will help the lights to run on your scooter through a yellow cable that comes from the stator alternator on your scooter now why you should change this uh, regulator rectifier there is, could be two reasons maybe your lights are burning up and your, your regulator rectifier is kind of rectifying too much current to the lights and is burning the lights on your scooter this one could be one reason why you should change the regulator rectifier or sometimes your battery is not really charging really good so sometimes your battery is really down and your scooter really doesn't start perfectly so that means that this regulator rectifier is not recharging your battery at a good voltage that is great for your battery so if your battery is kind of low this one could be one of the problems so just by changing this one you will have a better charge on your battery your battery will recharge a lot better and a lot faster now you have to make sure also that your battery will not charge too much because at that point your battery might blow up and be damaged by a regulator at the fire that's another thing that can happen so changing this one is always really good after lots of miles that you have on your scooter but after 10,000 miles 15,000 miles this one I can say that this one really worked too much but if you wanna you can extend a little more and uh, go 15,000 miles but always keep an eye on the voltage that goes to your lights or the voltage that goes to your battery to be recharged so changing this one is really easy and I will show you how to do it there right now okay to replace your regulator rectifier on your GY 650cc scooter you have to open the front part of your scooter right here the nose where is the lights unfortunately the regulator rectifier is located right here right on the front part of your scooter behind this plastic so to remove this plastic you're going to need to remove four screws on the rider side and two screws underneath the nose of your scooter so you can remove the front part right here plastic of your scooter right here you have one screw on the left one screw on the right one one on the right down here and one on the left down here on the lower part Lefty Lucy, remember on the left you unscrew this screws. You have one on the right side right here. And you have one on the top over here. Already remove this one. And you're done over here on the rider side. At this point we are going to the front lower part of your scooter where you're going to find two screws that are underneath the nose of your scooter right here on the front part of your scooter you have two screws underneath here so move the tires just a little bit so you can give yourself a little room to remove the screws down here Those are the two screws that you have in front of your scooter. At this point, the nose of your scooter is free. Okay. Okay, at this point, to remove the front part of your scooter, just put your hands like that. Open your hands. Put one hand over here, one hand on the other side. And start to slightly wiggle like that the front part of your scooter. Okay, just like that. Now, right here, you're going to see the connection for your lights. 
So I suggest you to remove this connection, just push the connection and uh, get this connection apart like that and you remove this part right here because everything is made of plastic so I don't want you to break any of this plastic because you might have a problem later, there is problem to find these parts. So remove the lights so you have a little more room for you to work to change the regulator at the fire. Okay, right after you open up the front part of your scooter, you're going to see lots of wiring that they're coming from your scooter. And right here on the right side, you're going to see the rectifier. This one is the regulator rectifier that is getting power from the stator, magneto, alternator that you have in your scooter. And the wires are coming over here and they are being rectified from AC to DC to recharge your battery and to run the lights of your scooter. Now right here this one is a large rectifier but you can also have a smaller rectifier or a full bridge rectifier. So I suggest you before you order a rectifier for your scooter that you open your scooter and you want to make sure what is your rectifier size even if all of them they are working the same way one of them that is a full bridge rectifier will have a slightly different connection than this one this one is a full bridge rectifier this one is a full bridge rectifier slightly different has uh, four wires like the other ones but the wires are in a different way okay this one has a little square connection right here and this one is easier because you just unplug and plug it this one you have to adjust the wiring so I want you to check before you order your product that you make sure that the one you order is perfect for your scooter now this one is a GY650cc scooter this one is really easy to switch you know you just to unplug this connection right here and place the new rectifier that is this one this one is a slightly smaller rectifier and this one is from Glickskull Glickskull they have a great products they're pretty good quality and they last a long time now right here you're only going to need a 10 millimeter socket to remove this one okay you just twist right here to unscrew with the socket that is a 10 millimeter socket to remove this one so little by little you can remove this old rectifier of your scooter now gently make sure you remove this one Sometimes if the bolt is doesn't come out too easily, try to wiggle a little bit the bolt and sometimes the bolt will come out slightly easier. You can also spray a little WD-40 or some silicone WD-40 that will help you to get this bolt out. Okay, right after you remove this bolt right here, this one right here is a 10 millimeter bolt that is holding your regulator rectifier. This one is your regulator rectifier that you have on your GY6 scooter. Now it can be this one or can be a smaller one. But make sure the connections are the same. Now to disconnect this one just press this part right here and you just pull. Wiggle and pull. Don't pull from the wire. If you pull the, from the wire you could damage the connections. Okay, right here. This one is a regulator rectifier for a GY650cc and this one is an OEM part. You can find them on the partsforscooter.com, you can find them on eBay, there is a lot of places you can find this one. I'm going to put the link right here under the video if you need to buy this part for your scooter. Now this one is for a GY650cc scooter regulator. Okay, right after you remove the old one, you have the new regulator right here for your GY6 scooter. What you're going to do, you just press this one in to make sure that it goes in and all the connections are the same. 
okay? Make sure you press it firmly, okay? You want to make sure that all the connections are going in at the same time. You want to make sure nothing is bending, because if something is bending, you're going to have a problem later, because if one of the little spade that goes inside the connection bends, later you are going to have a problem. Now, you're going to place the bolt that you had right here with the wrench, but you can start it by hand first, so this one will be staying better, okay? Slightly by hand before, and then later you can twist it, you can tighten it with the wrench with the 10 millimeter. Try to make sure those wires are not touching anything. Make sure they're not too tight. Make sure, because sometimes your scooter will slightly move when you're riding your scooter, and these wires could damage, could be damaged. They could be cut by, you know, this part right here that is metal. So try to keep the cables away from any sharp parts. Now, little by little, I want you to tie this bolt. Do not over tight it, but at the same time, you know, make it nice and tight. You don't want anything to move right here. Now, what you, I want you to do also is to make sure that this part is going to work. So what you should do, right after you place this part, I want you to turn on the scooter and make sure your scooter is working. Because sometimes there is a possibility that these parts maybe are not working or these parts are coming defective from the company. If they're coming defective from the company, unfortunately you have to send them back and get a new part. So, but before you place all the plastic back, all the lights and everything else, you want to make sure that your scooter is working. So before you place the cover or the lights back, make sure you start your scooter. Make sure your scooter is working. Make sure your lights are working. Because there is a possibility that that little part might not work. If it doesn't work, you can always send it back. Now you can also do a reading with a multimeter to make sure you have the right reading on that one. Make sure it's charging your battery. But at this point, you should be done. If your scooter is working, that is already a great sign. So at this point, we're just gonna place back right here the cover of your nose of the scooter and the lights back, right? Okay, right after you replace your regulator rectifier right here, you can place the front part of your scooter back. Now, make sure right here you have the connection of your scooter for the lights. Make sure you press this connection pretty good. You know, you want to make sure they make a great contact because if they don't make great contact, sometimes your lights are not working. Sometimes you can also press the little spade of the lights right here, of the connection, a little more inside to make sure your lights are working. Okay, right after you're done, make sure gently, because everything is made of plastic, put your hands like that, not like that, like that, and you just place this part inside, slightly shake it, make sure it goes in very nicely. Make sure there is no gaps. Now at this point you can place all the screws back and you can have a secure scooter in the front part. Make sure nothing shakes or nothing wobbles, nothing moves. Just slightly shake it like that. If you feel that it's moving, make sure you place it really good. When you're riding your scooter, your attention has to be on the riding. It doesn't have to be a pay, pay attention on things that they're moving on your scooter. So make sure everything looks good. Okay, at this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Please feel free to visit my YouTube channel anytime. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.